Hi, welcome to Asian Garden to Table. This is another video about germinating vegetable seeds. I hope these videos get more views because there are a lot of experience, knowledge, and skills I share. They are important when you try to grow Asian guas and melons. Have you ever had problem like this? When germinating seed in wet paper towel, the seeds grow mold and get rotten. The first reaction you have is the seed is bad. Okay, before you get mad, let's see what else can cause that. This is a ripe bitter melon. It turns yellow and have very bright yellow orange color. Inside, the seeds are wrapped by slimy bright red film. It actually tastes sweet, not bitter at all. In nature, plants have very interesting way to protect themselves and propagate their species. The fruit and seeds stay unnoticeable and untasty when they are still in development. Once ripe, they turn into very eye-catching color with tempting fragrance and flavor. Animals will eat the fruit; the flesh will be digested. While with protection from the hard coat, the seeds stay safe. And are carried around by animals to a new place. When new season comes, they sprout and repeat the whole growing and reproduction cycle. Think about it. A lot of vegetables and fruits we know have very similar stories. The sticky and juicy film and flesh wrap the seed and, in some way, prevent it from sprouting. It is a way to protect the seed so they will not sprout in the wrong environment and season. After the seed and film is digested in animal's body and released back to outside world, or decomposed in nature by microbiome, and the seed has gone through proper dormancy and distribution, with the right temperature and moisture, they are ready to germinate. So, how this may affect us growing our vegetables? A lot of vegetable seeds we buy or preserve are well washed and dried, but more or less on the seed coat, there is still some flesh or film residue left. After we soak the seed and try to germinate them, the bacteria from seed coat in the air or the water will try to decompose the residue and make raw mold, make the seed rotten and inhibit germination. It starts from the outside of the coat. If not taken care properly, will make the inside rotten. In commercial growing, there are common practices to prevent the seeds get mold or rotten. One is to soak the seed in chemicals or blanch the seed in 50 to 60 degrees C hot water. But this may damage the seed. Both are not suitable for home gardening. Here I'm sharing with you a simple, effective. Non-poisonous and non-harmful way to care your seed during germination. First, clip open the seeds if necessary. Please refer to my earlier video for details. Here I'm using winter melon, fuzzy melon, border guard, bitter melon. I also add watermelon because some gardeners have requested. You can try this method on other seeds. You may succeed with the ones that you have always failed. Soak the clipped seed in room temperature water for five to eight hours. Another seed I want to show you here is Malabar spinach. You can see the bulb wrapping the seed. After soaking overnight, use fingers to pinch the bulb open and release the seed. The cleaner the better, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Fully rinse the seed for one or two times. I'm using wet paper towel to germinate the seed, so I can show you how they germinate. A very important reminder here: please carefully control the paper towel's wetness. In my earlier video, I used fully soaked paper towel only because I did not soak the seed in advance. The actual water in paper towel was used to soak the seed. Here, the seeds are fully soaked and are ready for germination. If too wet, the seed will get drowned and rotten after. The proper wetness for paper towel is to squeeze it a little bit hard to remove most of the water. If you put this paper towel on a dry one, it will not wet it immediately. Open the paper towel; it should be wet but not heavy. Maintain the paper towel's wetness like this for the whole germination. 
The wetness is very important. I have been seeing a lot of gardeners drown their seeds because they overwater them. In a deep plate, put a wet paper towel at the bottom, spread the seeds out, and cover up with another wet paper towel. Wrap the plate with plastic film and poke many small holes. Place the plate at a warm place. These seeds are warm weather vegetables and will germinate the best at temperature between 85 to 95 degree. Many of these seeds, under proper temperature and moisture, will grow white root in one or two days. Pick out the one with the root and plant in seed starter. Rinse the rest of the seeds in clean water every one or two days and put them on a fresh new paper towel with the same method above. Continue this until majority of the seeds grow root. The seeds I'm using here are typically more difficult to germinate. It will be a pretty good result if you can get 70 to 80 percent germination rate. These plants usually grow very vivid and produce very well. For home gardeners, two to three plants should produce plenty for home consuming. After sowing the seed in seed starter, please care them well. In my other seed starting videos, I have shared a lot of my experience for carrying seeds and seedlings in seed starter. So this will not be repeated again in this video. This is all for today. If you find our video useful, please give us thumb up, subscribe to our channel for more videos to come, or visit our website at asiangardenstable.com to purchase Asian vegetable seeds and cookware. Thank you very much for your support. I will see you next time.